Well, Simone Stanley here. Uh, Simone, uh, last week when we started the show, Morehouse had a head football coach. This week, <laughs> it's not what? Why do you start? It's just out? the way you phrased it. Why do you? I'm being serious here, and you giggling to start the show. <laughs> last weekend, we started the show. Morehouse had a head football coach. This week, they do not. Uh, Simone Stanley, can you tell us what happened? So last week, it was circling around the streets. You know, the streets were saying that head coach, former head coach Gerard Wiltshire, that his 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 spot was in jeopardy. So we couldn't get a confirmation on that. We went into the game, uh, Morehouse versus Clark, biggest game of the year, one of the biggest games in the SIAC football, big rivalry game. Morehouse came out with the win in that game, looked phenomenal. Morehouse looked dominant throughout the whole game. On but all the only season. problem was they had not won a game. They had not won a game Before all that. season long. But they won that game. And soon after, the rumors came back out about um, head coach Gerard Wiltshire, his spot being in jeopardy. And then it, it broke yesterday that he is parting ways with the university after only eight months. Now, Gerard Wiltshire is an alum of the university. He played football there. He was a four-year letter winner at Morehouse. He's coached um, at Rice. He's coached at Boston College. He's done stints in the NFL. Very, very so experienced. They, they, they didn't just find him on the streets they of Atlanta. They didn't just find him on, <laughs> you know, under that bridge downtown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had a resume. So it's it, shocking. It's shocking. Eight months, he made a statement, and he said... Please know that I tried every day to uplift my beloved Morehouse. Statistically, we improved in almost every category. We played a challenging schedule with only two home games, Tolly. And even though we asked numerous times, we were not given the resources to have a strength and conditioning program. I was hired after the recruiting season and had no recruiting budget. However, the college has made the decision to no longer retain me rather than give us the support and resources we need in order to be successful. Yeah, I mean, you fire your coach after eight months. That sends a very strong signal that whoever comes in next might not have but eight months. <laughs> if somebody comes in next, because who's going to be applying to that job? It's strict, that Morehouse. It's strict. And let's talk about their schedule. Two home games. They started off the season in Canton, Ohio, which is extremely far from Morehouse, obviously, against Virginia Union. Virginia Union, who's what, in the CIAA championship? Right. right then yep. they play Howard, who was the defending me at Cochamp, right. a Division I school. It's a very tough schedule. Well, here, here's what it boils down to. Morehouse has a name. You can promote a football game, or you can say, hey, we got Morehouse, and it's going to get the attention of sponsors. It's going to get people excited. Like, okay, let's bring in Morehouse. So they were basically taken all over the country. Uh, the Morehouse show was on the road. Uh, but the reality is uh, in the AUC that, you know, millions of dollars come in for academics and other programs. It does not filter through to athletics. Uh, if you have been in Atlanta and you have seen the facilities at Morehouse, they're still using facilities from the 1996 Olympics that were built for the Olympics. So, uh, you know, you have to do what you have to do. If, if athletics is not a priority then just say that. Right, just, just say that. Just keep it real. Like, keep it real. What it is, what it ain't. Let us know. But the, 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 entire, the entire AUC has been a huge turnover um, in football coaches, uh, both Clark Atlanta and Morehouse. I mean, it has the last five years, uh, it has been a hot seat. I mean, Morehouse actually had some stability uh, until just now. Right. Uh, they got rid of the previous coach. He, he had been there a while and, and had – you know, some some amounts of success Coach Freeman did. Uh, but, you know, letting this guy go after eight months is uh, – if you don't have somebody else lined up, that, that, that does send a signal. And I'm not for sure if it's the signal that you want. Now, if, if there was cause, then you need to say that because if there's something we don't know, then okay, that's a different story. But if it's just, eh, yeah, this didn't work out, that, that's not a good look. I think – and this is completely speculation, as you all probably know – I feel like Gerard Wiltshire was probably asking, was probably trying to raise a standard. Like you said, they don't really seem like they invest in much in athletics. Given his statement, he said that he wasn't given a recruiting budget. That's probably maybe something he's asked for, something he's had in the past. Like I said, he's coached on different levels before he came to Morehouse. And he said that he asked numerous times to have the resources for a strength and conditioning program. 
and he didn't get one. So I feel like maybe he was asking for what Morehouse thought was too much, even though in the college football landscape is the standard. Yeah. Uh, but again, you're just going to have to keep it 100. You're going to have to say, this is what we are. This is what we do. And this is what you got to work with. Um, and then at least when someone takes the job, then they know uh, where the bar is. And if they want to be overachiever, that's fine. But they at least would not be able to complain about what they don't have if they're told up front. It is what it is.